All right, what's going on, Giants fans? I usually don't make videos after practice, especially on a day we put out a podcast. But this was an eventful practice for the New York Giants. First, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you don't like me at the end of the video, unsubscribe. Easy. So, five things today. Kadarius Tony at practice, practicing today. Todd Davis, retired. Kenny Galladay leads with an injury. Offense played well, and then there was a brawl at the end. And we're going to start with that, the brawl, because that is that's the news that everybody wants to talk about. Apparently, and I'll show you this, Dan Duggan had a good tweet, Jason Garrett looking, uh, showing the fight shirt. I really wanted to find that picture, I was looking for it, but Dan Duggan, he got that out, so good on him. But anyway, Zach Rosenblatt of NJ.com, who actually broke the Kelvin Benjamin story, go check him out, give him a follow. Just had a brawl at Giants practice, Jaron Williams hit Corey Clement hard, Evan Ingram shoveling him to the ground, Logan Ryan came running over, a, uh, a fight ensued. Helmets were off. Daniel Jones was at the bottom at one point. Joe Judge was pissed, making everyone run laps. And supposedly they were doing push-ups in the end zone. and kind of ended practice on that. Had him doing like full-on sprints, not even just like jogging laps. Now, Joe Judge last year was asked about fights at camp and stuff. And he's like, I have a zero tolerance for that. He's like, we'll you'll be kicked out of practice. We have zero tolerance. You know, in a game, you get in trouble for that. So in practice, you're going to get in trouble for that too. So it's an all-out brawl between the team where, like I said, Daniel Jones was at the bottom of the pile. Supposedly Nick Gates was was pulling him off. So I kind of like camp fights. Like it sets the tone. It gets the juices going. And get, like it just it just increases com- like the co- competition. Um, but it was the first day of full pads, and I get like the coaches shouldn't like fights because you know what? It wastes time. It could injure someone. Like Logan Ryan supposedly going and shoving at Evan Ingram in the back, like. That could have caused an injury. That could have, you know, and that's that's the worry. And, and guys are always punching helmets, um, which can hurt your hand. So I, I understand that, you know, coaches coaches shouldn't like fights. But now that it's over and no one got hurt from it, I think the players kind of do bond a little bit about it. Like it kind of shows, you know, that grit and toughness from guys. Like, you know, Logan Ryan was quoted saying, hey, you, you need a little bit of griminess to be a good team. So I do like that. I like these guys standing up for each other. Um, in my experience, fights have never like really caused any division in practice. I'm sure they're, I honestly bet they're, they're joking with it together. Like I'm sure, you know, Logan Ryan said him and Evan Ingram will be fine. And, and I'm sure they will unless one of them's sensitive. And I don't, I don't think either one of them are. But still, just an all-out brawl like that. You usually don't see that. Like it either gets like guys break it up, but for the whole team to get involved and Daniel Jones to be at the bottom of the pile. Glad he's not injured, but Daniel Jones, he's just kind of like one another one of those gritty, tough dudes who's just willing to go to war at all times. But my gosh, um, Fight Club in East Rutherford. Fight cl- Fight Club <laughs> at the East at the uh, Quest Diagnostic Center. So I am glad everyone is healthy, fine. Nobody got hurt from it. Um, Team bonding, like I really do think. Now, Joe Judge, I mean, the beat reporters are saying they've never seen him this mad. Uh, Ralph Vacciano even said, like, I've never seen anyone that mad. I mean, was just cut dog cussing him for forever, even after they were done doing push ups and running sprints, like the full team. And then, like, talked with the players and s- sent all the other coaches away and, and, and yelled at the players for like five minutes in a semi circle. So, Joe Judge doesn't play that stuff. Now, he runs a tough, intense practice. So, sometimes these things are going to boil up and. You know, I don't think it'll be the last camp fight ever in the Joe Judge era. Hopefully not, because hopefully Joe Judge is around for a long time. But uh, Joe, Ju- I don't think there will be another one this this uh, this camp because uh, you know having to do all those push-ups and sprints like nonstop that will motivate you to maybe uh, let let stuff let stuff go. All started by a big hit on Corey Clement RB RB three probably at the moment. So so that was a, a wild day. Now. Here's some real not great news. Kenny Galladay, uh, he caught a pass short over the middle. Tay Crowder like popped the ball out, but I think what I think he kind of bothered his hamstring beforehand. There's no there's no like concrete details yet. I have the video that Jordan Renan posted, so you can see it. You can see he almost immediately grabs it. Like I don't think Tay Crowder popped the ball out. I think it was more. And I can take it, I could play it slow. Like I really think it was more like like Crowder pops it out, but I think I don't think Crowder had anything to do with it. I mean he immediately grabs his hamstring, so 
and you know, Tay, it's not like Tay Crowder was coming in head hunting or anything like TJ Brunson was the other day. So you can see grabbing his left hamstring, limping away. The trainers looked at it and he left practice. So that's obviously not good. It doesn't look too bad, you know. He he didn't go to the ground at all or anything. Kind of you know limped off the field and you know they paid him a lot of money, so they're going to be careful with him. They're not going to force him back out. Like I said, we, we don't we don't get to hear from Joe Judge until uh, tomorrow Wednesday morning, so I'm sure he'll give some more details. Even though he's never really going to give you real concrete details of, of a timeline, you know, where he called Shane Lemieux day to day. But I think he's going to be okay. Now I'm not a doctor and I don't have any inside info on that, but um, hopefully hopefully he's all right because we cannot afford to lose a Kenny Galladay. We just we just flat out can't. This team cannot afford to lose a Kenny Galladay. The offense played well today. There, there's something. Let me uh, pull it up. Well, don't ignore my quote tweet. But Arch Stapleton, best drill of camp for Daniel Jones in red zone. Three touchdown passes and a touchdown run. And then Logan Ryan had even said in his pressure, like, yeah, the offense looked really good. And I think that might have started a little bit as the offense was killing the defense. Which is good. You know, people were panicking. Obviously, without being there, it's hard to make any judgments. So even with them saying the offense looks good, it's like, well... You know, what was the drill? Sometimes the coaches set things up for one side of the ball. Um, you know, they're scripted stuff out. Sometimes they, like, script out struggles. But we're glad that the offense is starting to come along, you know, after hearing about how great James Bradbury is playing and Adoria Jackson. It's good to see Daniel Jones and the offense starting to come along, being able to move the ball. And they just, you know, they just opened it up to the open field and got out of just red zone work, so that makes things a little easier on the offense, even though they were doing, you know, red zone period where, you know, Jones had those those uh, four touchdowns, three passing, and run running. So good good to hear that from the offense. Won't spend too much time on that. Kadarius Tony at practice and practicing was doing individual drills, not not a ton of team drills, but that's good. I mean, he's going to be a big weapon. I can't wait to watch him in preseason, by the way. We're about a week and a half out. Like I am amped up to see that guy catch a slant in preseason and see what he does with it. And then last on the list, Todd Davis, the guy the Giants signed on Saturday. I made a video about him retired so he was with the Giants for two days retires or you know they got paid on the retired list so I you know not a formal retirement yet but apparently retired I have no idea why I mean you can make up your own theories you could say he hated laps I don't know you could you know maybe he maybe he came in overweight even though he was with, wasn't with the team so I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that that kind of sucks though because he wasn't brought in to be the 90th man on the roster when they signed him like a, like you know a guy like Damian Willis gets signed and you're like yeah he's probably not gonna make the team they're just bringing in camp bodies Todd Davis has played a lot of football in his career, and I thought I thought he was brought in because of Reggie Ragland's injury, and it's not like Reggie Ragland has came back yet, and we have no idea when he's going to be back or if he's going to be back at all. So, I mean, right now they have Blake Martinez back, but like Carter Coffin, who's never played inside linebacker right now, is the first backup now with Blake behind Blake Martinez and Tay Crowder. So Ragland was kind of like that vet who you can trust at that spot, especially if you know, God forbid Blake had to miss time. Todd Davis was, a, was a, you know, a vet who knew how to play the position. You know, knows how to, you know, play good and run defense. Not going to be a playmaker or anything, but not going to embarrass you either. So, I don't know what happened with that. But, uh, inside linebacker's thin. So, Reggie Ragland, we need you to come back healthy. All right. I just wanted to do a quick camp uh, practice report. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out the podcast we did today. Ignore the Todd Davis talk on it. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Let's go Big Blue.